Hello and welcome to Wheel Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole. This week we're checking out the 2016 Mahindra XUV 500. Yeah, it's a mouthful of a name, but it's not a bad car either. You could be forgiven for thinking Mahindra's pinched a design from Mitsubishi and well, that's not a bad thing because the Outlander was not a bad looking car at the best of times. Here we go, this is the Mahindra XUV 500 with a typical Mahindra front end on it, but toned down a little bit compared to other models we have seen in the car, to be perfectly honest, or in the range, to be more correct. Uh, not a bad looking car in one respect, but these little uh, flutes that come down on the side, well, you know, they are a matter of personal taste, as is the slightly cheesy grille. At the rear, you've got this uh, rather interesting tail light structure, but it does work. And it's nice to see, actually, that Mahindra have gone just a little bit different by embossing a logo into the plastic there. It, it is a seven seater as well, nice and easy. Open up the back, manual seats, all operated via these levers here and they work surprisingly well. Rear air conditioning, the vents in the back there controlled by uh, a dial up at the front. You do get a dial just in there as well for the rear seat passengers. And of course, the obligatory bottle or cup holder. Ride and handling inside the XUV500 is predictable. It's a little bit soft in the rear ends, uh, no doubt to cope for that extra two people sometimes, and it'll certainly take a load of shopping, no problems, and it actually did tighten up the ride quite considerably. Handling itself does need to be tightened up. The steering ratio is just a little bit loose, and uh, you sort of feel like you have to put in a little bit more work in order to have the front end point around to where you need it to be. Another noticeable thing, bearing in mind that it's the uh, automatic version, it's the first time that Mahindra have put uh, an auto into one of these kind of vehicles, they've sourced it from Japanese company uh, ASIN. It's smooth, it's slick, there's a couple of uh, sort of times where it holds, but it won't hold gear coming down uh, a slope such as Sydney's Old Bathurst Road, unlike uh, a few other companies. And that's actually not a bad thing, because sometimes you want the gearbox to be able to do what it normally does, therefore you control it by throttle and brake, rather than the gearbox doing the work for you. The other side of the coin, it's not the most rapid of accelerating vehicles, uh, it's somewhere well over 10 seconds, but it is an 1800 kilo car with the uh, kind of torque that it has from this 2.2 litre engine. But as an overall driving package, it is easy to live with and something very much worth considering. Manual seats for the XUV 500, and that's something a little bit different in regards to the startup procedure as well. Yes, and you have to sort of wait a little bit for all that to happen. Fairly clean, easy to read to a point uh, dash layout. The font really does look like it comes from uh, Lethal Weapon. And I do think that the actual font size needs to be just that little bit bigger. It does make it a little bit hard to read, especially when you're on the go and trying to fiddle around with the air conditioning controls or anything like that. All drive system on board. This is the XUV 500 automatic, the first auto that Mahindra fitted to the range. It is a six-speeder. You've got manual operated by a switch on the side here. Not exactly ergonomic, not exactly user-friendly, Perhaps the old rocker style that many other companies tend to use would be the preference. This is the XUV 500, it is the automatic and it is the all wheel drive model. This particular car is priced at around $33,000. The range does have two wheel drive and four wheel drive and also now with the auto gearbox. Starts at around $28,000. A lot of people were surprised when I said I was getting a Mahindra and they all sort of sniggered and said, well, hope you'll be able to get it home. The car is performed flawlessly apart from those little glitches that are just programmed into the car itself not enough to really stop the car from doing what it's designed to do just one of those little frustration things that companies tend to have for some strange reason at the end of the day it isn't as nearly a bad a car as what people anticipated and therefore it's worth a look for wheel thing tv i'm dave canole under the bonnet is a 2.2 litre diesel pumping out around 430 newton meters of torque However, the car weighs well over 1,800 kilos, which is a bit of a surprise that it doesn't like it weighs that much, and unfortunately, it really dulls the performance. There's a bit of a glitch, in a way, with this auto. It's not a glitch as such, but it's just one of these little peculiarities. What you do is you're in drive, you want to go through to reverse or park, you actually have to come through to neutral, and then pause for a moment before you're actually allowed by the gearbox to move the lever forward. It's just one of these little things. It's a little bit of an annoyance, not to the point where you'd want to just rip the gearbox out and do it, but it's also very pointless in that uh, kind of, why do I have to wait? Why do I have to just go and then lie that rather than just bang it straight through? 
two glove boxes, but one of those would appear to be, when it opens, a nice little drinks holder of some sort. You certainly won't lack for rear leg room in the Mahindra XUV 500. There is heaps and heaps of it. Now that front seat is done for a normal driving position, and as you can see, there is still acres of space between the front and the rear seats.